Didn't Sony just have a state of play back in June? And they had another one just now? And it was only like 20 minutes long? Why bother? So, anyway, I tuned in very quickly, as quickly as the show was. And uh, there were a few things that I saw that I'm actually kind of interested in. Um, there were three things, which doesn't sound like a lot. But considering there were only like five, maybe six uh, showcases or games shown, whatever, uh, that's quite a bit, right? So, uh, this is part one of, uh, the, the first reason why I'm even making this video is the state of play. There's a new Yakuza game coming out. It's Like a Dragon Ishin. I haven't even touched, like, the Yakuza series, but I got all of them. They're, like, right there on the, they're, they're, <laughs> they're all up there, um, stacked. And, uh, I have Like a Dragon, and, you know, if I really like the series, I'll definitely pick up Like a Dragon Ishin. Um, there is a new Team Ninja game coming out, and I actually kind of like Team Ninja. I loved the first Neo game. Uh, Neo 2 was alright. Um, you know, and then, of course, the Ninja Gaiden games. Um, but there's one coming out called Rise of the Ronin. It takes place in 1863. It's like a samurai game. Uh, I'm not really sure what it's about, but it, it looks cool. Combat doesn't look too exciting, but I feel like there's going to be more exciting things about the game. I have a good feeling about it. It's Team Ninja. Like, they may not have good stories within their games, but when it comes to gameplay, they're usually really top-notch. They're really tight. Uh, really uh, responsive. Hopefully I get to see more of it in the future. And lastly, the the, the last thing they showed was uh, more God of War Ragnarok, which again looks great. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to buy it day one. I have a feeling I'll be playing other games and I got work and uh, a lot of stuff going on, going on in my life. Uh, but hopefully I'll get to Ragnarok. If not day one, then before the year ends. So, um, yeah, that was the state of play. There were a couple others that I wasn't interested in. Oh, Tekken 8. Tekken 8 was there, and I don't play Tekken, so that doesn't really mean anything to me. Uh, there was also the Hog Hogwarts Legacy game. Again, I'm not a fan of Harry Potter, so that doesn't really stand out to me but it is a game that a lot of people are interested in hogwarts legacy and uh yeah it's weird like why have a showcase that's not even a half hour long just kind of like pump out like trailers then if that's all you got you know individually but yeah i i guess that was a good break on my time um the second reason why i'm making this video is I also have a brief channel update. Um, as you may have noticed, uh, a couple of my last videos were related to Horizon Forbidden West that I recently played through. And, you know, I did like a bug montage. It was a good game overall, but the, the first one was better. The first one was less buggy. I think the story might have been a little bit better in Zero Dawn as well. But it was a pretty good game. It was just really buggy. Now... When I look at that video, I'm very disappointed in myself. Not because of the editing. Like, like I was okay with how it was edited. It was edited fine. The visual quality of that video is very unsatisfying, considering it's a PS5 game. PS5 records videos in 4K, right? Like, like at least 1080. When I edit my videos on Movie Maker, uh, I typically only save it in 480p. And it does not do it justice. I'll let it slide just this once because that was a video of me bashing the game. So it could have looked like a piece of shit. But, you know, I just showed bugs, right? So it, it's not like I was trying to like glorify how good the game looked. So I'll let it slide. But from this point forward... 
I am going to try my absolute hardest to record and upload videos. Not this video, but like high definition games, like really impressive looking games in 1080p at least. That also means you might see less and less gameplay videos. Unless, of course, I'm playing something that's really old, like a remaster or like a PS Plus Premium Classic, like Siphon Filter 2, which I hear is coming out. If I do a Let's Play of that, it's still only going to be 480p, just because that game isn't like a remake or anything. It's not even like optimized. It's just a port uh, from PS1. So it, I, I'm not really bothered if the, the resolution on videos like that are low. But when it comes to new games like Horizon and God of War and Modern Warfare 2 and all that stuff, I gotta compete, you know, there's competition. Like, there are people out there who are recording games in, like, 4K, and here I am, 480p. Like, hey guys, check out this video! Like, it's fucking crap. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna try. Um, now, when I save a video in 1080p, it takes up a significant more space on my computers and my hard drives and stuff. And that's why I said that there's going to be a lot less gameplay videos in HD than there are. Just because I am kind of running out of space here. You know, I have so many videos backed up. I have so many raw files that I'm going to eventually have to get rid of. I'm not going to get rid of, like, all the final edits of videos that I've made. That I'm not getting rid of those. But, like, the raw files, like the raw Let's Play files that I created, you know, and formed into, like, full Let's Play videos, I'm probably gonna have to get rid of them. So, yeah, um, that was my update, and that's my State of Play video. All in one! Coming up next, I am planning on playing the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 beta, hopefully in 1080p for you guys. Uh, it is gonna take a lot longer to upload, because they do take a lot longer to upload. 1080 as opposed to 480. Um, so, um, yeah. Stay tuned, and as always, thank you for watching. The Gamer Gods!